Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn with another Happy Hanukkah book. Natasha Wing is the author and Amy Warmer is the illustrator. The Night Before Hanukkah. "'Twas the night before eight days of Hanukkah. Families were prepping from New York to Santa Monica. The children soon nestled all snug in their bed, while visions of chocolate gelt danced in their heads. The very next evening our family gathered round. The festival of lights began right after sundown. Our menorah was set out by the window with care, it's an heirloom passed down from our great-grandma, Claire. Dad put on his yarmulke, pinned it down on his hair. Then Mom lit the shamash candle after saying the first prayer. The flames, how they flickered, our faces cast in light. We sang Rock of Ages while the candles burned bright. Then we opened our presents. Oh, wow, earrings for me and a building set for my brother, Who's three? The next night we played Drido. That's a top that you spin with four Hebrew letters. Nun, He, Gemel, and Shin. We each tossed a coin made of chocolate called gelt. I snuck one and ate it before it could melt. It was my turn to go. If it lands on Gemel, I win. But Shin turned up, so I put another coin in. Our dad won that game when our coins all ran out, but he divvied up his winnings. Sharing is what it's all about. On the third night of Hanukkah, after the candles were aflame, dad read the story of Jewish heroes. Maccabee were their names. Let us take back our temple, the Maccabees led with a shout. The Jewish people fought and won. They kicked the enemy out. Then they cleaned their holy temple and prepared to kindle the light, but the lamp had to be oil. It could burn for only one night. On the fourth night, we ate latkes, deep fried potato pancakes. Mmm. On the fifth night, jelly donuts, the ones my Uncle Dan makes. On the sixth night, we visited cousins. It's a family tradition. My aunts made gravy and brisket. Yummy smells fill the kitchen. On the seventh night, to share our happy Hanukkah mood, we brought presents for others and lots of holiday food. On the eighth night, the last night, Mom had bad news to report. One of the candles was burned out. We were short, so I opened the drawer and used my birthday candle. Mom placed it in the menorah, then lit them all left to right. Dad reminded us that like our faith, they burn bright. As the last candle burned like they had for eight nights, we wished a happy Hanukkah to all, the Festival of Lights. Happy Hanukkah, book buddies. Don't forget to wash your hands and be safe.